Hello everyone, welcome to Unify Study. So here in this video, I am going to tell you the answer key for the HP set which held on 28th April. We got the question paper and I am going to tell you the answer key for all the questions one by one. And I will explain you the answer key also. So that's why please watch the video till the end and definitely subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to get all latest update and notification and stay tuned with this channel. Because in this channel only you are getting everything free of cost. All the crash courses, previous years question, set paper analysis, previous years free of cost question paper. Test series also there in our web website free test series. You can go to the test series. You can go to the free mock test. Here free mock tests are also available. And if you are interested for our paid course then definitely you can join our paid course with very nominal charge. For computer science and paper 1 together 2999 after that also super 20 discount is there so you have to pay only 2400 for two months if you are going for one month then price is more less and here computer science is also there paper 1 separately also there but if you want to get together then you should go for combo at least must attempt the mock test from the website you can scroll down and you can see the google play from the google play store you can download unify study app and you can start your mock test because for the upcoming exam so now without wasting time let me explain you all the question one by one i prepared this slide as a subject wise so subject wise i am going to tell you one by one after that i will go for the random question you can see this is the question number one dbms always my favorite subject dbms so that's why i'm starting with dbms here you can see it was given that these are the keys and it is a very good question here f means this is the functional dependency here not the attribute this is actually the functional dependency this is given attributes are a b c d here also attributes are a b c d e a b c d e so from here it is asking you to candidate key you have to do in ascending order so in here you are getting candidate key only a here you will get candidate key a e b c c d so here you are getting only one candidate key here you will get four candidate key here you will get three candidate key a d c d b d all are candidate key so when i am arranging so in the option one there is only one candidate key so one here in the option 3, 3 candidates key are there in the 3. So that's why 3. After the 2 candidate keys are there in here. So that's why this one. So it will be the correct answer for question number 21. Now go to question number 22. Student and the course enrolled in the example of many to many. Many student can enroll many courses. In many courses many student can be there. So question number 22 answer is C. Now question number 23, 23 match the following here, normalization reduce the redundancy, so A will be with 4 here, you can see A with 4 and referential integrity that is primary key and foreign key, so C will be with 2, C will be with 2, so option A is the correct answer. Now it is the question from uh, 24 number question, this is question number 24 mining it is related to mining mining is the knowledge of multi-dimensional space that is correct handling uncertainty noise incompleteness this is also correct pattern evaluation and finding the hidden truth that is also correct so that's why all are correct option d will be the correct answer next one is uh, 25th 25 number question here it is given no SQL database support vertical scalability but does not support horizontal. It is wrong because no SQL is supporting horizontal scalability. That's why this is false incorrect. This is no SQL database suitable for the structure, semi-structure as well as unstructured data. Yes, this is correct one. So that's why statement 1 is incorrect. Statement 2 will be correct. So option D is the correct answer. Now you can come to the question number 27. Question number 27 here also dependency is given very easy dependencies and the A, B, C, D attributes are given to you. It is in which relation? Here your candidate key will be A, B. 
now a implies b this a implies c that is a partial dependency b implies d this is also a partial dependency so that's why this is not in 2nf it is in 1nf only so answer will be 1nf but not in 2nf next one question number 28 which of the level of abstraction stored in the database this is physical level data are stored that is physical level 29 weak entity must be total participation this is correct and does not have key attribute this is also correct so option a and b is the correct answer question number 20 30 question number 30 is that the value of attribute of primary key cannot be null this is what type of integrity entity integrity option a will be the correct answer question number 31 and an abstract class design only act as a base class and inherited by another class it is correct because after abstract class is pure virtual function where it can be inherited and it can be uh, it is giving you the runtime polymorphism opportunity that where you can override the function derived class can override so this is correct and abstract class cannot create any object because it is an incomplete class so option a will be the correct answer both are correct for the question number 31 now i am coming to the software engineering question this is question number 12 in the question number 12 function point this is option C. Function point is UFP plus CFP direct formula. Question number 13. Uh, the statement with respect to the integration testing that is top down testing here it is given that low level supposed to combine cluster and specific software sub function in top down. It is actually not top down integration. It is opposite is given. This is bottom up. Here it is given key beginning main control and downwards that is bottom up. This is actually top down. So it is opposite given here. That's why both are wrong. So statement 1 and 2 both will be incorrect. That is the correct answer for question number 13. Question number 14. Match the following here. With the beta testing only you can do the answer. Beta testing performing by the client not the part of organization. D will be with 3. So here you can see only D with 3. With this one only you can do the answer. Question number 14. Option A is the correct answer. Question number 15. When the multiple modules read and write access the global data. That is called what? Common coupling. This is direct question, common coupling, option D is the correct answer. Give the following two statements here. Non-functional requirement are constraint imposed in the system. It is focusing on the quality. So, option A is the, means statement 1 is correct. Software reverse engineering is the process of software development done. Improve the maintainability. This is also correct. So, both are correct answer. Option A is the correct answer for question number 17. This is question number 17. Question number 18. Macall quality factor. Quality factor operates and understand the function of the software. Operate and understanding that should be usability. Definitely it should be usability. That is question number 18. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 20. When implement the module and grouped because output of the element serve as a input of another element. This is sequential cohesion. Output is coming as a input. This is sequential. That's why option C is the correct answer. Next question is from AI. That is question number 2. So what is the following sequence of fuzzy logic machine that is sequence will be first one should be fuzzification then rule evaluation then defuzzification so option a should be the correct answer for the question number two consider the following two input boolean function which one is not linearly inseparable which one you cannot do linear separability that is xor and xnor or and end is linearly separable it is given inseparable inseparable means not separable 
so xor and xnor that's why option 3 and 4 will be the correct answer breadth first search not guarantee to find out the solution depth first search guarantee to the find out solution this is opposite given breadth first search actually giving the uh, finding the solution it is guaranteed and depth first search is not guaranteed that's why both are wrong here so option b is be the correct answer both are incorrect question number 8 modus ponens rule modus ponens rules is telling you when p implies q is true and p is true then q will be also true that is p implies q and p then q is true this is the modus ponens rule so option a will be the correct answer for question number 8 Question number nine: Which of the related block uh, world problem in artificial intelligence? C. That is planning search. So option C is the correct answer. Question number ten: Horn clause is a clause with the dash positive literal. That is option B is the correct answer. At most one. Here at most one positive literal. That will be the answer. That is question number ten. Option B. so these are all the answer more answers are coming although i solved the question but uh, till now some little bit verification and confusions are there i am showing you uh, you can see that yes these are the expected answer but uh, still i am not confirm till now because i have to do little bit verification so all the green color mark are the correct answer for the questions i hope so Uh, but still i have to verify once again and in the next video i will explain this each and every question but for now you can mark the answer key you can see that all the green color are the correct answer expected correct answer but i need to do little bit more verifications and after that i will explain also in the next class but for now you can count your score from these remaining answer keys also for now you can count the score but here some mistake can be there that's why i am not confirming you and always i am i believe to explain each and every question but those who are in hurry they can check it yes these are the answers for the remaining questions i am showing you one by one i am scrolling it and i have class also that's why i am not able to do in one class because i have paid class at 6:30 pm i am recording the video now so one by one uh, question answer i am showing you all the green color are your correct answer expected so you can see that and i will explain this all the answer in our upcoming video so let me know in the comment section what is your score and after that uh, you should share this video to your friends because we are investing time for you to give you the answer key so at least we can expect that yes you will also do something for us so when you are helping us we will be happy at least please like share and subscribe and your comment will motivate motivate us and let me know that yes what is your score thank you so much see you soon in our next video you can count the score you can uh, speed you can little bit uh, make it slow and you can see that all the answers and you can mark it but all that whatever i explain that is confirm but remaining question i will little bit verify once again and then i will come with the proper explanation thank you bye bye see you soon in my next video